So this time in Media Central Cloud UX, we're going to take a look at the Publish app. Now the Publish app is one of the apps you get from the fast bar here along the top. And you can see here, I have the Publish app selected. Now when we talk about publishing, what we're talking about here is publishing to say a playout server in a studio, but also publishing to social media sites. For example, here I have some profiles to post to Facebook and to Twitter. You could also post to a web CMS system. And we want to make it very, very easy for everyone in the team to be able to contribute, put posts together and submit them for publication itself. So let's take a look at just how easy it is where I can create actually multiple different versions of a post for multiple different sites. Now, in order to do this, of course, I want to post with some footage. So I'm just going to open the Browse app here. So I just click on the Browse app and drag it down to the left-hand side, and that's going to open up a folder for me. Now, one of the things about the Browse app, if you remember from the previous video, is it has this great feature where I can hover scrub the shots and I can preview them directly in the folder itself. You know, there's no need to launch it into the media player. Of course, if I do double-click, you see it will launch into the media player and I can then view it in there as well. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further in this folder because there are some nice drone shots that I'm going to use here of a bridge that's been washed away. So there's the shots there. And again, you can see here, I can just hover over the clip and I can see there, you know, there's the road being completely washed away. So I want to use this clip so I can simply drag it into my Facebook profile here, and you'll see a really nice feature when I let go. What this does is it's gonna give me a preview of what this post is gonna look like on my social media site. So let's go ahead and type in some text here. So this is some breaking news. Road has been washed away. So here for Facebook, of course, I'm going to be publishing some video, but for Twitter, I actually want to publish a still. Now I could post video to Twitter as well, but I want to show you a slightly different feature of the Publish app this time around. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to load the clip into the media player. So again, just double click, loads into the media player, and I'm going to just scrub through it here on my timeline. Now, of course, using the keyboard here, for example, or using the under monitor controls, I can go forward frame by frame. I can easily move through to find the shots that I want. So I wanna take this wide shot here. Now, I don't wanna post video to Twitter. What I want to do is post a still image, and I want to have this image here. So I can do it using what's called the screen grab feature. So when I press the screen grab button here, watch what happens. The system goes and grabs a high quality image from the media player and puts it directly into my post. Now again, I could post the same message or I could post a different message. So this is breaking news. We have new shots of flooding with a road swept away. And I could also, if I wanted to, add in a video package here or a clip and send it to my Playout server. But this time, I just want to send to Facebook and Twitter. So again, it's very easy. I just say, okay, I don't want to post to Playback. I want to post to Twitter, and I want to post to Facebook. So you can post to any combination of the three. You can post the same message to all three, or you can post, as I've done here, different messages to different platforms. It really is that simple, and it is that flexible. Now, once I'm happy with what I've put together, then all I need to do is click on the Publish button here. And you can see what happens when we finish. I get a message coming back telling me that the publishing process is finished and the send has been successful. Now you can add in other processes here. You could have authorization steps where you have to have posts authorized by the person in charge of your social media accounts before they're actually published. Or you can allow users to publish directly themselves. That's entirely your choice. So stay tuned for more videos about the new features in Media Central Cloud UX coming soon.